Okay, so in this video we're going to go uh, more advanced and it seems like it'd be easier to go in two dimensions than three. We've just been doing volumes of ellipsoids and stuff like that, but it's going to be um, a little bit trickier. So we're going to find the area of an ellipse. Well, how hard can it be? Right here it says that the area of an ellipse is pi AB. So area equals pi a B and so if I've got um, x squared over 4 plus x plus y squared y squared over 9 equals 1 well then my a is equal to 2 my b is equal to 3 square root of 4 is 2 square root of 3 9 is 3 and so my area is going to be equal to 6 pi. Okay, but so how do we do that using calculus? And well, we're probably gonna, we're, it's gonna take a while to get there, but we're gonna get there. Okay, so I've got my ellipse and I'm gonna break it up into just, I'm just gonna do this part here. And so now I'm going to have a little rectangular box. And so the area of the box is equal to x times dy. Okay? So it's x and dy area of that box. And I'm going to integrate from 0 to b. Let's do that from 0 to b of well let's go let's just use the actual numbers. From 0 to 3 of x dy. Now I need a formula for x. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go down and I'm going to say um, x squared equals 4 times 1 minus y squared over 9. Take the square root of all that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just working ahead. So there's something for you to think about. How did I get from that? to that formula. So you can work that out on your own. Uh, I think I'm actually going to write it as x equals 2 thirds square root of 9 minus y squared. That's what I want to do. So I need to integrate from 0 to 3 of 2 thirds 9 minus y squared to the 1 half dy. Now, this gets us into uh, a few different things. We're going to start to get pretty deep into it. This is a trigonometric substitution. So we did in the previous chapter trig substitutions. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my triangle and I'm going to say, well, that's got to be a side because it's a minus right there. So there's a minus there. So it's that's nine. That's the square root of nine minus y squared. And that makes this three makes that y. So now I make this u. So I'm going to say simplest function of uh, y and u is going to be sine u equals y over 3 or y equals 3 sine u or I can say u equals sine inverse of y over 3 and I can say 
that dy is equal to 3 cosine u du. Okay, now I go, uh, let's see, I want square root of 9 minus y squared over 3 is going to equal cosine u. So then square root of 9 minus y squared is equal to 3 cosine u. This doesn't look all that bad. So then I go, um, so now I want to take 2 thirds of the integral from 0 to 3. I'm going to forget about the limits here in a second. We'll come back with the limits when they're back to y's. That's going to be 3 cosine u and dy is going to be 3 cosine u du. And so I'm going to get, pull that out, I'm going to get 6 integral of cosine squared u du. Now, that looks like that would be an easy one to, to find the antiderivative of, but it's actually, we're just sort of into it even deeper. So I've got 6 integral cosine squared u du. And how are we going to do this integral? Well, what we have to do is we have to go and we have to find our trig formulas. And the trig formula that I want to use is going to be this one right here. Cosine squared theta equals 1 half times 1 plus 1 cosine 2 theta. 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So let me just zoom in on that. This is the formula that I want. Okay, so I'm going to write this as 6 times the integral of 1 half. Let me write that out. Okay, now I'm going to take a 1 half out, so I'm going to get 3 times the integral of 1 plus cosine 2u du. And I can do this pretty easily, so it's 3 times, that's going to be u. And then this one, I did a whole video where I said that you have to watch out for chain rule problems that are lurking around or, or integration by substitution problems. And this is exactly why you have to watch this video. This one, the antiderivative of this is going to be 1 half sine 2u. So it's going to, if I take the derivative of this, it's going to be sine, sine blah goes to cosine blah times the derivative of the blah, which is 2. So times 1 half, that's an integration by substitution that you guys have to remember from a previous video. Okay, now, okay, what do I've got? I've got 3 and I've got sine inverse of y over 3. So I've said that u is sine inverse of y over 3. Oh, and I've got a sine 2u. Oops. Okay. Back to here. Sine 2, sine two theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. Back it up. Okay. 
Now can I get somewhere, please? Okay, I've got u as sine inverse of y over three. Okay. I've got sine u is equal to y over three. And I've got cosine u is equal to nine minus y squared, square root of nine minus y squared over three. And I evaluate that at three and zero. So I've got three times the sine inverse of three over three plus one half three over three times square root of nine minus three squared over three minus three times the sine inverse of zero over three plus one half zero over three square root of nine minus zero squared all the over three and it looks like it's complicated it is complicated so I've got three sine inverse of one plus, wait a second, hang on, three minus, th nine minus three squared, that's nine minus nine, that's zero. This thing right here is zero, so this whole thing is zero. Minus three times the sine inverse of zero plus, ah, that whole thing is zero too. Now I remember that the sine inverse is zero, that's zero. So this whole thing cancels out and I've got the sine inverse of one. Well, the sine inverse of one is going to be 90 degrees, but we don't speak degrees in calculus. We call it pi over two. So that's gonna be three pi over two. Okay, now I was supposed to get six pi. My answer at the beginning was supposed to be six pi. I came up with three pi over two. What did I do wrong? Ah, I did nothing wrong. I just found that this area of the ellipse is three pi over two. But then this is also three pi over two, and this is also three pi over two, this is also three pi over two. So the area of each one of those is three pi over two, and the whole area is six pi.